Hey, this is Josh with CG Monastery. And I wanted to give a quick uh, demo on customizing, uh, I guess, the first pass on customization for, uh, for M. Drake here. So we're going to have um, other ways to do customization. We're playing with that right now. But for any of you who have bought M. Drake and want to customize it for something that you're doing, you want to change it look a little bit, I just want to kind of show you how to do that. It's especially easy with, uh, with M. Drake here because we have a unified mesh. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the skin cluster for a second. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to slide it over here. I'm going to select this mesh, my new mesh, to the old mesh. And I'm going to create a, uh, let's see, a new blend shape. And I'm going to call this my uh, face tweak BS node. Create that. I'm going to turn my skin cluster back on. Oop, that's not it. And I'm going to turn on this uh, face tweak shape. Let's see here. What did I do? Oh, that's my order. Okay, so we're going to change our input order. This could be all inputs. I want my blend shape before my uh, skin cluster. I just middle mouse drag, drag that down. Okay, so say I want to, and I'm gonna go in soft selection mode here. And let's go, come on Maya. Uh, symmetry on, object, soft selection. In soft selection, I'm gonna go surface to volume because I wanna be able to, when I select the eye, to get the lids and stuff too. So I'm just going to select this vert here. I'm going to grow that selection. And then I'm going to play with my soft selection a bit. And I'm going to say his eyes are too big. I want to shrink those down just a hair. And I'm going to pull them out a little bit. And then I'm going to move this whole brow for whatever reason, just to kind of show how things work. So if, currently how it is, you'd probably want to do this after um, you have your animation done, just because it's going to kind of throw off how it ties into the controls. So it's a little off-putting until we get this to be a better way. You might want to try that. And then I'm going to go to back offline to surface. So I'm just working with the nose here. Eyes. There we go. I'm going to pull the nose out a bit. And then I'm like, you know what? I want him to have a thicker lower neck. I'm going to pull this out a bit. Like maybe I just want him to have a whole smaller mouth. All right. I'm going to go back to volume so I grab my teeth too so things don't. Get off. I'm gonna scale that. Ooh, I got his nose. I want that nose so much. Scale his mouth down a bit. Move this up. Pull his mouth back. And I'm like, that's exactly what I want. This is my new look. All right. So I'm just gonna hide that. I'm gonna do my animation. I still got all my all my stuff. All my controls work. Like I was saying, it's off again because I, I did the um, I uh, moved some of the geo, so it's not going to time with what the controls are doing. But you could still, you know, do all your same stuff. Anyway, that's a quick way to do uh, some customization. You can do arms and legs and stuff. And again, because it's a unified mesh, you got a little more flexibility than if you had to do with uh, eyes and stuff being separate. But uh, it's a quick demo. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.